Hello, Dr. Dave back here with you again. We're going to try and do the uh, Halloween card explanation again. I've made some notes. I'm going to try and make it brief and just hit the high points of what's important and the things that Frank Morris tried to tell me about the card. These are the two sides of the card. Now let's start out with the whole idea that uh, what it says here he says I feel it in my bones you ache to know my name and so I'll clue you in but when you open the card it says but then why should I spoil it <laughs> so he told me that the reason he put this here was to get people to open the card and look at it now let's see if we can home in here I hope this works because I'm, I'm holding this in my hand if you look at this skeleton see the little lines there that means that this skeleton is alive okay and if you look at this one it's dead it's not moving it doesn't have any lines and its legs are all messed up and its arms are bent all over the place so and it also has these cracks in its skull because that's the way they killed a lot of people. Beat them in the head with something. Now, let's start with this one. The first thing that you see when you turn this page, and this is what Frank asked me, is boo. Now, the guy's a genius, but in a lot of ways his mind is very, very simple because he's just not educated in a whole lot of different things. Everybody's got a different meaning for what boo is, but Frank Morris told me it just has to do with the fact that it's a Halloween card. What are Halloween cards supposed to do? They're supposed to scare you, so as soon as you open it, it says boo. That's all it is to that. And then over here it says, Peekaboo, you are doomed. And he was wrote that in there for Frank Averly. Avery. He called him Averly. Uh, that was a reporter that was, you know, trying to prove who Frank was. Now, let's go with the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Why thirteen eyes? Well, it's pretty simple. We're back to the number thirteen. The 13th letter in the alphabet is M, and M stands for Morris. Okay, so happy Halloween. Now, we go over to this one, and it's quite alive. The first thing we see here is a 14 in the right hand, and this OK sign, that's, if, if you can get a good picture of this and magnify it, that's actually a picture of a briefcase, which is supposed to indicate to you that it has to do with the D.B. Cooper jump. Now, I'm looking at my notes here. The Oh, I forgot something over here. The four teens. The four teen has to do with the four teenagers that he shot up in the San Francisco Bay Area, Lake Herman Road and Blue Rock Springs. Four teens, okay? And 14, the number 14, which appears over here, again because his prison number you can go look this up in wiki it, his prison number when he was at alcatraz was 1441 and he received a 14 year sentence in alcatraz okay so all of those things connect in his simple mind of a genius and let's see here in this well in both of these the different bones indicate different things. There's places where there's three and four. For example, this hand only has four fingers, and you wonder why it doesn't have, or it only has three. Two down and one over here. That's Frank Morse and the Anglin brothers. And this one has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know, that, all those things are important. The cobwebs is an M in there, and... You know, everything on here is important, but I'm not going to go into everything. The toes in the these feet indicate, uh, you know, there's three of these guys. And one line that's kind of 
hard to see because that's Frank. He's kind of hidden, you know. But there's a lot of things in there. If you want more details on this, go to my older videos on the Halloween card. The, all the details are in there of what Frank Morris told me about this card. Now, another important part of this is the pumpkin okay Frank told me that that's covering the private area although this little stem sticking up here has a meaning just guess what it might be and that you, you know they trying to tell people that they weren't didn't have anything to do with sexuality it was a different kind of murders but it really did have to do with sexuality that's why he tried to hide it okay now the other things that I want to cover Z for Zodiac and the Zodiac uh, gun sight that he puts on everything and this signature that he's put on a lot of different things I told you how he got that from a wire that you clip that's used to put wire on a T post a fence post and uh, if you look here I mean it's pretty simple you, you got to remember now this guy's a genius but he's not really it's kind of like a genius little boy okay and he draws these things really simple but he said that simple things were more confusing to people because they would spend so much time trying to make something out of that of it that it wasn't there's an L for Lee there's an obvious F for Frank and there's a very obvious M for Morris these dots, if you connect them, they'll make an A, which is uh, stands for the Anglins. Okay. And that's what I have for you today. Hope that helps. If you got any questions, I'll answer them for you. And uh, please like my videos and subscribe. Thank you.